Hello and welcome back to Get Set Grow. I'm Letty and today I'll be showing you how to stake your beans, thin out your seedlings, plant your large seeds indoors and start hardening off your plants in a cold frame. The tools we'll be using today are a cold frame, bean poles, twine, scissors, trowel, a pot, labels, pencil, compost and a large pot or container. And the plants that we'll be using today are broccoli plants, courgette seed, runner bean seeds, dwarf French bean seeds and beetroot seedlings. Today we're going to be using hazel poles to create a wigwam for our runner beans. You can also use bamboo canes or other sticks for this. Push the hazel poles into the ground in a circle. Once your poles are in the ground, gather at the top and tie with string securely. It is important to thin out your seedlings so your plants have space to grow. Different plants have different distance requirements. For example, lettuce likes to be spaced 30 centimetres apart, but thin them out gradually so that you can harvest the baby leaves. Start thinning out your seedlings when they've grown their first true leaves. These are the leaves that resemble the leaves of the adult plant, not the seed leaves. Thin the plants by pulling out the weakest seedlings. These are beetroot and like to be spaced 10 centimetres apart. Starting seeds off in a covered area gives them a head start. Today we're going to be sowing courgettes and runner beans in pots. You can sow these from April. Take a pot with a hole in the bottom and fill with seed compost. Overfill the pot, tap down to remove any large air pockets and strike off with your finger. Take one courgette seed and push it lengthways into the compost. So it's two to three centimetres below the surface. And write your label. Do the same with your runner beans. We're also going to do the same with our French beans, squash and pumpkins. Water in well. Keep these in a greenhouse or on a warm windowsill until they're two to three centimetres tall. If you don't have a large space, you can grow lots of things in containers. For example, today we're going to be growing this small summer squash variety in this pot here. Start by filling the pot with compost. Once your pot is full, sow your seeds. Sow two seeds in the centre of the pot, planting them lengthways. And ensure they're properly covered. Water in well. Once your seeds are germinated, you'll select the strongest one and thin out the other. These are our broccoli seedlings, which we planted a few weeks ago. Any plant planted in a greenhouse needs to be acclimatised to cooler climates before planting outdoors. We do this using a cold frame. This is a process called hardening off. All plants are hardened off in gradual stages. Plants that are raised on a windowsill or in a heated glass house should be moved to a cool glass house if available. If a cool glass house isn't available, move straight into a cold frame like this one. Move the plants into a cold frame, keeping the lid open during the day and closed at night time. In the second week, keep the lid open only during the warmer nights and closed during the cooler nights. In the third week, keep the lid open the whole time. Next time, Bupinda will be showing you how to plant out your tender crops, successionally sow your crops, and grow the best strawberries. See you soon.